Yes. Furthermore, when a child is born, we're now at the birth point. What do we know about the birth point? And there's people that like being there when and assisting when a child's being born, isn't it? They just have this feeling that they like doing that. I mean, catch the child, whack the butt, whang! Okay. So, they like doing that. I mean, I might even want to like, like doing that sometime. I mean, it's quite fun working with animals like that. To see, it's amazing to watch this animal emerge from a seemingly rather unpleasant place because it is all like bloody and uh, with a lot of like jelly kind, of jelly kind of stuff, gelatine and stuff. It's rather sticky. And then you wonder how the fuck are they ever going to open their eye? Isn't that stuff in their lungs? I mean, isn't that stuff in their lungs? They've just come from inside a bag of liquid. I mean, how do you get it? Oh, you just suck it out? What's happened here? I mean, how does this, this is like fascinating shit? You really start to play with it. Anyway, how do they just suck it dry? suppose next moment if they suck too much the lungs are out the nose hanging out there. <laughs> Problem. <laughs> uh, uh, see, you see, vivid imagination. <laughs> vivid imagination. <laughs> Considering consequence. <laughs> Suction. <laughs> Suction and consequence. Anyway, what will the parent have is a point, because, I mean, our labor system in an equal equality system will be based on those points that define our reality. Birth is such a point, the entry point of the reality. And therefore there will be labor specifically available related to that and you will have people in the world that understand the point of equality is to enhance our experience and focus ourselves on our own perfection and no longer accept our limitations that has been promulgated as if that is reality through a concerted directive effort of focusing on our effective perfection of ourselves and the future of our existence we will change what we do and how we do it therefore at birth we will pay a lot of attention to the exact detail of bringing into this world a new life form that is going to enter and that must become part of and as equals supportive within this environment. So there will be labor opportunities there for those that do have an interest in such activity which will enhance their experience of themselves because they will not un only uh, experience it as fulfilling and satisfying satisfaction will play a major role within this because here we are acting within the principle of satisfaction pursuit of happiness the actualization of it not just the promise of it the reality of it so within that with birth you'll have thus the mother the father the family related being in the best possible hands and the best possible care and that care will be equal for all, meaning available for each child that comes into this world. Therefore, each child's first impressions will be similar in effectiveness and sport, which will automatically bring down the amount of influences that cause major the dysfunctional behavior and reality. I mean, the research thus far show much of the dysfunctional behavior of humans are related to things that happen with the child in their early years. We know the problem but nothing gets done about it because it's all about money. If you don't earn money you can't do anything about it. And nobody cares because what is the excuse? Sorry you don't have money, you are not allowed to give this child the best possible care. She don't have money. I mean, it is really bizarre and sick. 
Well, and it's unacceptable for any being in this reality to in any way promote any other system but equality in all ways. And obviously, as you can hear as I'm sharing this commonsensically, that it's going to be very difficult for anyone to deny what's best for all. Very difficult. So, and they'll have to do it deliberately, which obviously will be disregarded. <laughs> Deliberate deception will be disregarded, disenfranchised. So, within the principle then of the experience of this child coming into this world, the care that is given, we will have obviously a, a new development because you will no longer have nurses or doctors that's doing their job for status and money or survival. You'll do, you'll have people that do it because they love what they're doing. So now you have a child entering this world in an environment of love. Isn't that what everybody is fucking proposing but never fucking doing? P presenting to each part of existence an environment of equality as love. Doing uh, to your neighbor what you would like, like them to do to you. Love your neighbor as, e as equals. Here you'll have that now developing. There may be some pains in the beginning but have a look. Observing basic human behavior and observing the basic inherent goodness that is in man is there is people in this world that like doing this. There is doctors in this world that love what they're doing, that do care. But the system has made them inhumane. The dignity of life has kind of gone out the window and everyone has forgotten about it because you have been forced by the system to consider money first. And I mean, here we've started with the process of life within this reality and we've moved for, through the basic first nine months with some ideas and we're now at the birth point. We haven't even gone any further than that. And look at all the changes that is already happening and how it's going to affect the total life of a being just with an equal money system. Obviously, research will change. It will no longer be driven by profit. It will be driven by effectiveness. Because now you'll have people that would really like to do research and find solutions and that will do it honorable, not be driven by money. So your scientists is going to change. Science is going to become something that can be trusted simply by having an equality system. And that which emerges from science will be done by people that like what they're doing, therefore they take care of what they're doing because they know they will be known by the fruits of their labor. Currently that's not happening because you are known by the fruits of your money. So, With science changing and any form of mishaps that may happen or disease or dysfunction that happen around the birthing process, our research focus will become such through time that the whole process of birth will be quite effective. Which means the death rate of babies will drop considerably and will no longer murder children because of the profit system that exists. <laughs>